by the way, are exempt from state regulation because they're protected by um, ERISA, the Employee Retirement Income Security Act, I think is what that stands for, 1974, has been interpreted to give broad uh, uh, protections to employers who self-insure, or any employer for that matter. Uh, so it's, uh, it's for example, it, among the protections is you can't really sue your uh, ERISA-protected employer in state court. You might be able to bring a civil action against your employer in federal court, but there are no remedies. You might, if you're successful, uh, get the cost uh, or the value of what service you might have been denied, the treatment you might have, might have been denied, but um, uh, good luck getting a lawyer to take it on because the lawyer won't get, won't, you and your lawyer won't have any uh, much money to, to, to split. Uh, they're, they're, you know, they're, they're widely protected by the federal government by law, so uh, uh, they've just been able to do that. They, they've had friendly administrations and friendly courts. Uh, the Bush administration was very, very friendly to the insurance industry. The pharmaceutical industry, um, uh, they, they don't, they're not as visible this year as they have been in the past. Uh, they have s apparently cut some kind of a deal with the White House by saying they'll uh, uh, contribute or offer up uh, 80, million, $80 billion in savings over a period of time uh, to avoid uh, uh, getting regulated more by the federal government. So the administration seems to play in on that. Uh, you're not seeing them play as active a role except somewhat of a charm offensive or PR campaign as the industry is doing, uh, helping to sponsor some ads to, that say we need health care reform. Uh, spending a lot of money needlessly, if you ask me, I think that's pretty apparent. Um, and, uh, still trying to kill it because uh, uh, even with all those restrictions, the public option should be able to offer comparable benefits to a private <coughs> bank at lower cost because, again, it doesn't have to send uh, your premium dollars to uh, Wall Street investors and it doesn't have to have high administrative expenses such as uh, marketing sales and underwriting. So this summer, 